Bro, this shit is literally fucked. I mean that so much. Like, my stream setup is screwed. Look at this. You can already see, you can already tell I was not prepared. I was not prepared for YouTube to fuck me over. And I also was not prepared, obviously, because I can't even roll the intro. I tried to roll the intro and that didn't even work. So it is what it is. But um, I wanted to come in and say what's up to you guys, let y'all catch up to me. And uh, as you can see, I kind of have a new setup a little bit. I'm kind of a little distance away from the camera and you can see my whole upper body now, which is uh, much better. I got a, a new lighting system and stuff too. So I'll be showing you, I'll be showing you all that and getting into all that later on. But for now, we got, we got some talking to do guys. We got a lot of talking to do. I'm gonna um, cut the music down pretty low so you guys can you can be on a, a relaxation level like I'm on. And uh yeah, you know, let's let's get into this shit, man. Wait, hold up. Flamix? Why is Flamix on the YouTube chat? Does he even realize that we're on Twitch? That's weird. Okay, um, so I got a long list of things that I wanted to touch base on. First of all, I wanted to say thank you to Melissa Howard, thank you to IC Blue, thank you to Chris. You guys for sponsoring me and supporting me and especially melissa howard last night while i was asleep she fucking donated 50 beans to your boy so i woke up and that's how my morning started off just getting 50 dollars donated to me just right out of the blue out of nowhere without even going live without even doing anything she just smacked me with 50 beans like it was nothing and was like you know i love you guys i love you kyle i hope you have i hope you have a, a good early Christmas gift or whatever. So yeah, I mean, I wanted to jump into that. And you can tell your boy been working out. Yeah. Nah, but seriously, let me uh let me put on a freaking shirt. Cause I know y'all not trying to stare at my sh my shirtless body all this time. And it might be a little bit, um, ah, it might be a little bit awkward or weird um, with me having this set up because my, my computer screen is right here. My bootleg ass mic stand is right here, but my camera is over there. So I got to look at you guys a little bit, uh, you know, different. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, sorry guys. I got brand new tattoos and shit all over me right now. So I'm, I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of, kind of hurting a little bit, but yeah, no, uh, back to what I was saying. Uh, Melissa, thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate it. I swear to you, that money will be put to good use. As you guys know, I'm currently working on moving sometime soon, very soon. But um, we got our own crib now, so I'm going to be able to scream and wild out and go live at times like 3 in the morning, 5 in the morning, 1 in the morning, whatever, you name it. And I won't be waking anyone up or disturbing anyone. So that's pretty fucking cool. But, um, but next, I want to let you guys know, um, I got a camper. It's just something similar to an RV. I'm going to go ahead and cut the music. I don't think we need it. We don't need the music no more. All right, yeah, so I got a camper. It's similar to an RV. I uh, bought some solar panels, a crap load of solar panels. Um, I also um, got batteries uh, to store all my electricity and stuff inside of. Um, I got a, si a pure sine wave converter. If you don't know what that is, feel free to look it up. But pretty much what it is is like some type of clean energy source um from coming from the solar panels because usually when you convert the uh the the electricity from the solar panels to usable electricity it can cause a lot of bad like um side effects like headaches and and shit like that like headaches and it, it really can fuck you up and make you sick or whatever you know what i'm saying so i got the sine wave uh energy converter i also got a compost toilet now i know that you guys are like what the fuck is a compost toilet Pretty much means we're gonna be shitting inside of this thing that we gotta stir up. That's gonna stir our turds up together with this type of moss. Damn, the fucking notifications are going crazy. Yeah, it's it's, it's really weird. It's really weird. Okay, I promise, it's very fucking weird. But yeah, it's it's worth it. We gotta do that because uh, we're not gonna be connected to any type of electricity. We're going completely off the grid. 
all together. But um, why am I on Twitch? Why am I not on YouTube? Guys, the reason is YouTube's having a little, um, a little fart, should I say. It's having a little fart, having an issue, um, you know, getting my channel unsuspended or unbanned from live streaming. So I will be back uh, sometime soon, probably in the next day or two. But from what I've read online, it can take anywhere between one to two weeks. And as you know, Smash Bros. Ultimate releases in 13 days. Will I be banned? Before Smash Bros. Ultimate comes out? Fuck no. I'm not going to sit there and I will make a new channel. I will stream live on Twitch. I will stream live on Pornhub. I will stream live on Twitter. I, I will stream on Instagram if I got to. I'm playing Smash Bros. Ultimate. And you guys will be able to participate with me regardless. But yeah, uh, I do have a Twitch, bro. Uh, what's good, Waffle? What's good, everybody in the chat? I'm glad you guys came out and decided to show me a little bit of support. I know my Twitch is pretty dead. I never get on Twitch ever, ever, ever. So I'm glad that you guys did decide to come out and show me some love. But um, next, I want you guys to see I got a bunch of new tattoos. Like I got a load. I got I got a whole lot of new tattoos uh, for real. First uh, and foremost, I got Ichigo, my boy Ichigo on my neck. Now I need to go get that uh, redone and, and like the line sticker because as you can see, it's kind of like looks like it's fading almost or something. You already knew that I had Goku on this side. Uh, I got real on my knuckles. And you already know I had the music notes. So real music. That's what I produce with these hands. And um, I got your boy Naruto uh, coming out of my arm right there. You can see the yellow, his yellow hair and whatnot. And he has the music notes that are on my hand. And he has real on his, uh, on his other hand. So he's pretty much, that's me as, as a Naruto form, I guess you could say. Um, and I didn't have to color his face because he's, he's, he's my skin color. And I put the red eyes because you guys know I got some pretty unique colored eyes. I don't know if you guys ever seen my eyes uh, this close up. But I got some pretty unique colored eyes. So I figured like, why not go with the red eyes. Demonic shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, those are uh, some of the new tats. I have a couple others. But those are I'm not going to be getting all up in that and shit like that. You know what I mean? Too close, too close. Yeah, I can see you. I can see you, Rage Kid, aka Icy Blue. Yo, I got a new video coming for you guys soon too. Um, that's part two to Mikado's birthday. I know I've been slacking. I'm just man, I fucking suck. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm a horrible like person to try to keep up with because I suck at putting stuff out on time and consistently and back to back and back to back like I'm supposed to. What's good, Ryden? How you doing? What's good, uh, Gorsh? How you doing, man? Um, so next that I need to talk about, I'm learning to play electric guitar. I'm sure you guys see the electric guitar in the background. I, I got electric guitar a long time ago. I've been learning and I've been actually getting pretty good. I got a nice amp as well. So I plan to do some live streams. If you guys would be interested in something like that, I plan to do some live streams once we move, um, showing you my progress and improving some songs and making some new songs for you guys. As you know, I already really just, I'm a big fucking music head. I'm a music producer already. And, you know, rapper, singer, every, every other thing in the book or whatever. So um, if you guys feel like tuning into that, I will be doing some streams like that. Um, but next, I need you guys to know that I have an album coming um, soon called Legends Never Die. I can't put my finger on a release date, but I can say it will be coming soon as well. Promise. That's my word. Maybe sometime early next year or maybe like near my birthday around March. I'm not sure, but... It's going gonna, it's gonna to be coming soon. That's my word. Hold on. The camera's kind of blurry. Okay, okay. You can only play acoustic? Hey, man, that's, 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 that's fucking dope. Uh, the fact that you can play an instrument alone, that alone, uh, that idea of that is fucking amazing. So, yo, keep it up, and, and maybe you might jump over to electric. It's the same thing. It's, it's no different than acoustic and, and electric, you know? No real big difference. Just the way that it sounds is, is the only difference. Um, next, I need you guys to know... Bro! Bro, Smash Ultimate has been leaked. Leaked. Like, it's out there in the wild right now. Uh, I do want to talk about that uh, Smash Ultimate. Icy Blue said, I will clap your ass. Okay. Whatever floats your boat, my guy. 
whatever floats your boat. <laughs> That's a big pause moment. But it is what it is, man. Shit. I, I mean, you get down with it, get down, man. I feel you. I feel you. All right, but um, I want you guys to see this. Smash Ultimate really has leaked. It's out there right now. There's someone uh, running around playing it in Spanish right now as we speak. So I'm going to pull that up and uh, let you guys see exactly what I'm talking about. We got it. We know we got to talk about that. I mean, me being a primarily Smash Bros channel, I want you guys to discuss this with me and tell me your thoughts because this shit is fucking dope. Like, we get to see an early insight into what it is. I mean, I've already been to Best Buy, so I've already been able to play it a little bit or whatever, like with a couple people here and there. But I'm talking about the full game has been leaked. So let's go ahead and jump over to that real quick. So as you can see, this is a video on blocked content. Feel free to go over to this wonderful YouTube channel and subscribe if you would like. Um, I haven't subscribed yet. I know I'm a horrible person. I'm sorry. But I do support him. So I would throw him a like. And I will, uh, yeah, I, I am sharing his stuff and plugging him too. So you, you know what I'm saying. But uh, anyways, back to what I was saying. Look, it's leaked, man. I mean, I got the audio cut off for obvious reasons, but I want to just skip through. This is what the box art on the inside looks like. This is what the game cartridge is going to look like. And um, let's go ahead and jump over to the back of the box art. Looking really clean. I'm going to go ahead and full screen it for you guys. It's looking, yo, it's looking clean as hell, yo. Seriously. And I like the idea that you see right here. I'm not sure if y'all can see my cursor, my mouse or not, but... You can play with the Joy-Con sideways, which and it says up to eight players uh, on on one console. So I mean, I kind of already kind of already knew that, but I didn't know the Joy Cons would be able to be sideways. I thought you'd have to have two Joy Cons for each person. So that legit is the reason why we got a switch. I mean, take the Joy Cons off when you pull up on your friends and stuff, and you just whoop their ass in Smash Bros. and teach them a lesson or talking shit to you. I mean, that's what I'm gonna do anyway. But um, back to this. Uh, let's go ahead and skip ahead a little bit. Back to the box art again. That's for the left side right there. Um, let's see. Let's see. I want you to. I want you to see. Is there's the menu? We've already seen that a trillion times, but it's in handheld mode now. And then we got uh, once you click through the menu and you click on Smash, it goes straight to the stage select screen, which is kind of weird because I'm not used to that. I'm used to going to character select, then the stage select after everybody picks their characters or whatever. So it's kind of weird that that's how this is. But hey, it is what it is. I guess we just got to get used to it. You start off with these characters unlocked. Now, originally, we weren't, we didn't have no Marth, no Shulk, no Villager, no Lucario, no Sonic unlocked. We had Mario, Donkey Kong, Link, Samus, Yoshi, Kirby, Fox, Pikachu, Ness, and Captain Falcon. No, we didn't even have Captain Falcon. He wasn't unlocked originally. You had to unlock Captain Falcon. We didn't even have Ness either. You had to unlock Ness. So it's kind of, I guess we got a little bit of a twist, a little something different going on here. But as you can see above the villager's head is this little star logo there, which I don't know what that means. And I was kind of curious. I was going to ask you if any of you knew what that meant. I want to know. Um, if you do, feel free to let me know down in the comments below if you're seeing this video afterwards or tell me on the live stream. Um, I don't know. Can you guys see, Can you guys even see properly? Yeah, you can see properly. All right, cool. Marth has been an OG in Smash, really? But has didn't you have to unlock him? I thought you had to unlock Marth always, though, right? I don't know. It is what it is. Hey, it is what it is, man. Okay, so um, back to this video real quick. You want to fight me in Smash, bro? It doesn't come out. It don't come out for another 13 days, so you're going to have to wait. But if you got a hack switch, you might have it right now. <laughs> I ain't going to say no more than that. I'm not going to say any more than that. I'm just going to leave it at that. But um, So then here's the, here's the loading screen. Obviously, we've seen that a trillion times as well. But the game looks clean in the handheld mode. It looks pretty good. Like, it's not too bad. I know this is not the greatest quality on this video, but... It looks pretty clean in handheld mode, and I'm just I'm excited to try that. I haven't been able to play it in handheld mode. When I went to Best Buy, they made me play it on the in the dock. You know what I mean? So I'm really excited to see how this is gonna turn out. But I had to talk about it and had to let you guys know because if I didn't, I'd be a fucking loser. You know what I mean? Like that would just be weird for me to do that. You're gonna use the Japanese version. Hey, Ryden, we're not talking about what version or anything. No, we're not talking about anything to do with leaks. Me using leaks, you using leaks, whoever using leaks, we, we're not talking about that at all. We're going to sit here, sip our beer, 
and act like we know nothing. That's just what I'm going to say. But um, we, we might discuss this in the future now, what I was doing or what, I, what I've been up to. Maybe a little bit in the future, but I don't I don't speak on what I'm currently doing. And I'm sure that a lot of people out there, a lot of the real ones can understand. You don't ever tell people your current move or what you're currently up to. You know what I'm saying? All right. So um, I wanted to also talk to you guys and let you know that I will. I have Smash Bros. pre-ordered at GameStop. I will be live streaming the day of the 6th. The 6th leading into the 7th. And it's a midnight release here in my town. So we're gonna, I'm gonna be taking y'all along with me to the local GameStop, probably like four, three or four miles up the street from my house, and we're gonna be camping out outside of the GameStop, and we're gonna be picking up our copy first, and I'm also gonna unbox it on camera with you. I'm gonna play a little bit of it on camera, and those of you that cop that shit early, gonna get the first matches in with me, gonna get the booty cheeks clapped when I <laughs> when I get the game, when I get the game, quote unquote. But um, next, I want y'all to know that I'm doing tournaments. I'm doing Smash Bros. tourneys. I'm going to be doing some shit of Smash Bros. tourneys. I already have $10 eShop gift card codes that I'm going to be giving away. I've already bought them on Amazon. Now, I would say, hey, I'll show you these codes. But think about it. If I show you the codes right now, then you're pretty much going to be able to just steal the codes. So I can't show you that I bought it. But I already have about four of them ready to go, already purchased, just waiting for the tournaments to kick off. And I'm going to be throwing them bitches out to the winners. And we're not going to do it like we did it last time. You know how last time we could only do like one-on-ones and then we could do the doubles and I made you send me the replays and shit? That shit was just way too hectic and too chaotic. What we're going to be doing now this time is we're going to be actually I'm going to be spectating on your match because there can be up to eight players in one match at a time and that just changes the whole fucking game for everybody like eight players means that I can watch a two on two that's going on between say Waffle, Gores, Drake and uh and and, and Raiden or something for instance you know what I mean I'd be able to watch you on your two on twos now, I'm not going to be doing no four on fours maybe some three on threes I don't know this whole thing is just it's interesting. We're going to be doing mad shit such as like stamina tournaments where your health runs out and you die. You're dead. You're dead now. You're done now. No more getting 300% damage and surviving. No more being Drake and being able to have 1,000% damage and surviving and still killing everybody on the goddamn map. That shit's not happening no more. I just want you to know. So I will be throwing some stamina tournaments. We're going to be playing around with the rules. We're going to have bunny ear tournaments, invisible tournaments, steel body tournaments. Bro, the, the possibilities are fucking endless. It's over. Look, I'm frozen right now. What in the fucking hell? I am frozen right now. Bro, I'm frozen. What do I, what do, I do? Holy crap. Was it because my hands were out like that? Yo, what the freak? It's not the stream. You can still hear me just fine. It's just you can't see me. My camera is lagging. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, if you purposely self-destruct, you get punished. Hold on. I'm going to fix this whole camera thing that's going on right now. What the hell is happening? Hey, hello. Wake up. Fix yourself, camera. Dude, what the hell is going on? Wait, how are YouTube people talking in my in my live chat right now? I'm not hold up. Let me let me go see what the heck is going on. How are they in my YouTube live chat? I'm not even live on YouTube. I know I'm not live on YouTube. Am I still lagging, dudes? No, I'm not. I'm good. I'm back. No, I'm not back. All right, there we go. Samurai Smoke, my man Smokey, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, look, I tried to use your intro you made for me today, but something just happened with the with the, with the stream and it just wouldn't play. So, hit on that. But I was gonna shout you out for it either way. Shout out to you for making me the intro, and I've already said that probably a hundred hundred thousand times. But hey, welcome to the stream. I'm glad you could finally make it out, and um. <clears throat> It's good that my camera, I'm not lagging no more. But how are these people chatting on from YouTube? I know y'all see them popping up with the YouTube icon. Yo, wait, all of the... What? All of your chats are pop, are popping up 
and YouTube as well as Twitch. I'm only live on Twitch though. That's what's weird. All right, whatever. We ain't. All right, we ain't, we ain't even gonna talk about that shit. We're just gonna keep it moving. I'm gonna keep lagging and and warping. Ha! New pose. See, I just I just transformed to a whole new pose. See, you can't even. <laughs> what in the fucking hell, man? All right, man. Um, so back to what I was saying. I'm um, talking about Smash Bros. We're gonna have all types of tournaments. Can we please stop lagging? It's fucking pissing me off, man. It is making me super mad. Okay, the lag is gone. We're going to have all types of tournaments. Tournaments that consist of stamina, steel body tournaments, invisibility tournaments. Uh, um, and they actually have the ability to run a tournament in the game now. So you don't have to just, like per se have me sit there spectate and us make our own brackets and all that no the game can actually make a tournament bracket for you and run you through the tournament and everything so i'm hoping that they have a spectator mode for those of us that are going to be out here streaming like i am i'm going to be streaming the whole thing to the channel and the winner i'm going to be giving away increments i have four different uh eShop gift cards Right, so for the one on one tournaments, I'm gonna be giving away $20 eShop gift cards. For the uh, for the two on two tournaments, I'm gonna be giving away $10 eShop gift cards to each uh, each participant that wins first place, uh, not second place. Second place doesn't get anything, you don't get shit. This is how brutal the tournament is. This is the tournament of power. You can consider this shit the same thing as Dragon Ball Z. You lose, you die, boom, like that's it. You lose, that's it. No love for you. Why am I lagging so fucking hard, bro? This shit is actually, like, pissing me off. I know y'all want to see me moving and, like, actually not warping all over the place. Um, By the way, Icy Blue, I've been telling you I'm going to get you the online mode. I, I'm trying to currently figure that out, but I, from what I understand, you can't get online mode if you just have eShop gift cards. You have to actually register a credit card to your account in order to get the online mode. So... I'm kind of worried that I might not be able to fulfill that promise for you because I can't give you my credit card information, bro. But I want to buy you online mode just because of the fact that you support me so much and I know maybe your parents don't trust you with their credit card. And I ain't going to trust you with my credit card either. I hope you understand. I ain't fucking putting my credit card in on your shit. But if we could figure out some way to get you to online mode or whatever, I'm, I'm willing to put that, that $10 up for your three months or whatever the hell it is, $8, $3, whatever the fuck it is. I don't know. You know what I mean? I'm not giving no credit card. No credit card information. Don't get it twisted. Really. But um, um back to uh, back to the Smash Bros thing. Tournaments are coming right away. I'm talking like week one, we're hitting tournaments. I, we're going to all learn the game after, like, we have one week to learn the game. And then, well, so technically that's week two. But so week two... We're going to be doing tournaments starting then, and we're going to be moving on every single week. We're going to be hitting a tournament. No joke. And yeah, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow some of you, those of you that donate a lot to me, you donate to me quite often, I want y'all to be able to go ahead, donate to the tournament fund. So say, hey, let's throw this into the tournament. I'm going to donate $20. I want this to go towards more money for the winner of the tournament. You can feel free to do that. I don't have to keep the money. I can take, I would take, if you make a request like that, I would take the bread that you send me and I will put that shit straight towards the tournament. And that's word. Word is bond, by the way. Um, next, uh, next, I wanted to talk about, um, I'm going to be doing almost daily Smash Bros streams, but that's once I move. Here at this place, as you guys know, I'm not able to do that because I got people, for instance, Mikado's mom sleeps literally right behind this wall right here like this is my desk you know what i'm saying this is the desk right here but mikado's mom is literally right behind this shit like on the opposite side of the wall so she sleeps there at night because it's during the winter she sleeps in that room because it's cold and during the summer she sleeps in the bigger room because it's cooler in the bigger room because more airflow or whatever so she sleeps there at night so i won't be able to literally stream as much at nighttime <coughs> excuse me but i'm trying to hit them 5 a.m streams 2 a.m., 3 a.m., them late night streams, late night weekend streams. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Early morning, 5 a.m., whatever, don't matter. All night, 24 hour streams. I can't do that here. But I'm going to do that when we move. And, and I mean, so when we move, I'm probably going to hit a day, every single day Smash Bros. stream, guaranteed for sure. 
no matter what. No, I can. It can be hurricaning outside, and I probably will be hitting Smash Bros. streams. Just letting you know for real. Uh, next on the list, I wanted to let you guys know that Smash Bros. has been data mined, data mined already. So we're we're at the process currently where they're working out how we can modify the game to load custom characters such as Goku, such as, such as Isaac, such as Shadow, which we really do need because we were robbed of having those characters as playable characters. Instead, we got them as assist trophies, which is pretty much bullshit. So we're going to, the game has been data mined or data mined. People who have hack switches will be able to play it. And if you don't have a hack switch, remember, you can always download the Yuzu emulator for your PC, which will allow you to run a Nintendo Switch on your PC and you can modify the file of Smash Bros. It is not illegal for you to own a digital copy of Smash Bros. if you own the physical copy. So if you buy the game and then you download the Yuzu emulator and then you download a copy of Smash Bros., you're not breaking any laws. You can legally modify the game and add any characters you want to it and enjoy it in whatever way you fucking want to do. Simple as that. I just want you to know. Say the N-word. I dare you to say the N-word, Gorsh. Get banned out the chat quicker than a motherfucker. No, I'm just joking. I don't care what y'all say, man. I really don't give a fuck. You can say nigga, nigger, niggas. I don't give a flying fuck. You know why? I'm confident and I'm happy with my motherfucking life and my skin tone and my complexion and my race and everything. So nobody can make me feel bad about the race that I am. But y'all feel free to wild the fuck out. You got freedom of speech. You say whatever the fuck you want. You As long as you ain't calling me that shit, you could say it to each other all you want. But don't call me that shit. You call me that shit, we're going to have some issues. We're going to have to knuckle up. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. All right, but next, um, I wanted to talk about... <clears throat> Pokemon Let's Go and how it bricked my Switch. I wanted to ask y'all what y'all's thoughts were about that because I noticed a lot of you didn't have much to say. You didn't respond or comment too much about it on the video when I put it out. I don't even know if you watched it, to be honest with you. I really don't know. But I wanted to know what you guys thought. I got bricked by a Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu NSP. The NSP is like the ROM or the uh, like the digital version of the game that 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 is illegally leaked online or whatever and like i won't lie yeah i motherfucking tried to get the game early but nigga i paid for that shit so i don't care what nobody say i pre-ordered it i already paid for it so i got the shit online i would leaked online or whatever of course i fucking downloaded that shit early i paid for it if you if gamestop called me today and said hey guess what we got your copy of Pokemon Let's Go uh, Pikachu. I know it's not supposed to release it until two weeks from now, but you can come pick that shit up right now. Am I wrong to go pick that shit up right now? The physical copy or the digital? Don't matter. All I'm saying, I fucking got that shit early. I tried to install it on my console, broke my console, so I ended up buying a whole new Switch, selling my other one to a user on GBA Temp who does <coughs> hacking or whatever. Got one fifty one hundred fifty dollars back, but I bought one on eBay uh, anyway for one fifty nine ninety nine or whatever one sixty nine ninety nine. So I end up only like spending twenty dollars to get a replacement console. The one that I got was not hackable, so I took my old console, which was the launch day console, and I ended up hacking that one in, instead, so that way I still have my hacks and whatnot. But I mean, I want to know what do y'all think about that? By the way, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, it fucking surprised me. It surprised me so much. I played the game. I'm expecting this little childish ass, like, fucking whack ass game or whatever that's just boring and annoying. And you Pokemon Go, that shit was act. This shit was actually lit. This game is actually dope. I got addicted immediately. I played that shit. It, it brought me straight back to my childhood. Why am I lagging so hard? So, Ka, what about that butt plug? What the fuck are you talking about, nigga? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> What fucking butt plug? By the way, look at this light I got, bro. I got this new light. It's a, it was like it costs like around hundred dollars right now if you go buy it, but it was on a Black Friday sale. Look at this shit. You ready? Y'all think that's the brightest it get? I know y'all say I was too close earlier. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Done. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Yo, this shit gets bright as hell, bro. Yo, it's already still too bright. I ain't fucking with that level of bright. Ah! Shit. Almost broke my shit already. I just got it today. 
I was itching to do the new stream when I when I when I saw this come in the mail. I was like, I gotta do this stream. We should be back live on um on YouTube in the next uh next couple next couple days or ne tomorrow. You said the lag's making you dizzy. It's making me dizzy. How do I fix this lag? I don't know why my camera is doing this. Like I have this setup where this light, this twenty inch ring light is right is like right here. And then the camera is mounted right in front of it, as you can see. I don't know how to fix this shit, man. I'm sorry if it, I'm sorry if the lag is a bit much. Like seriously, but there's nothing I can do. Y'all niggas are looking at my TV and shit, the back of my TV. All right, there we go. Yo, I gotta take a leak, my dude. I'm gonna be right back. I gotta take a piss. That beer is running straight through my system. Alright, yo. Look. We on Twitch, boys. We on Twitch. Nah, don't be trying to plot on me while I'm gone. While he's gone, let's do this. What the fuck were you about to do? I'm gonna say the N-word. Nigga, I don't care if you say the N-word. Long as you ain't putting the E-R at the end. I'm your nigga. You're my nigga, right? I hope that's the case. We niggas. You know what I'm saying? I hope so. You let me know if I'm wrong. I'm just curious. You know what I mean? But nah, but I, I want to know. I want y'all to type a one in the chat. A one in the chat if y'all want to hear some music. Because we on Twitch. Twitch don't got that whole copyright system and all that. I could play, I could take song requests out this bitch. If y'all want to hear music, type a one in the chat. If you don't want to hear no music, you'd rather just talk with me directly, type a two in the chat. Let me know. If I get enough ones, I'll do it. If I don't get no ones or I get some twos, we just gonna we just gonna chat it up like we doing right now. But I got a lot more shit that I want to talk about with y'all. A lot of stuff happened either way, so don't worry. The stream is probably not ending anytime soon. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Two? Okay, we getting more twos, so we, we just gonna chat it up. But I want y'all to know, I could take song requests. Y'all could be like, yo, play the newest Playboy Cardi. I'll play that shit. You know what I'm saying? Play the newest Lil Uzi Vert. I play that shit. Play the DuckTales theme song. I play that shit. But as long as everybody wants that, you know what I mean? I just, just want to make sure. All right, so we talked about Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, how I break my Switch. I let y'all know that I pretty much am shocked by the quality of the game and the amount of love and care that the, that the director as well as the developers put into creating the game. And I'm very surprised, to be honest with you, at how well off this game is. This game is good. If you haven't gotten it yet, I really do highly recommend you to get it. And I know y'all, a lot of y'all, like, nigga, I, 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 I ran out of like, uh, man, why are we lagging so hard, bro? I, I know a lot of y'all, like, I ran out of interest in Pokemon, but I haven't run out of interest in Pokemon, and I don't think I ever can. I'm always gonna at least play it. I don't always beat every game, but I at least play that shit. Now, I was also uh, asked by a few of you, am I going to do Pokemon tournaments? Am I going to do Pokemon giveaways again like the OG days? I want you to know, fuck no, I'm not doing no tournaments for Pokemon. Fuck no, I'm not doing no giveaways. I will never do a giveaway for Pokemon ever again in my fucking life, ever. Probably, that was like, man, I don't know why, I don't know. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea, but it was horrible. It ended up harming my channel in the long run, to be honest with you, so... I'm not ever going to be doing no Pokemon giveaways again. And why will I not be doing the tournaments? I pretty much suck at Pokemon. I don't take that shit as serious as a lot of you do. While I do get Pokemon with good IVs, EVs, and all that shit, and I know good moves to give the Pokemon, and I'm a pretty tactical player, strategic and whatnot, I don't, I don't, bro, I'm lagging so hard. We got to do some shit. We got to do something about this shit. How are we getting ads? You shouldn't have no ads on this shit. Hold up, doodle. 
I'm gonna wait till you get out of your advertisement because I know you're like trapped in another dimension right now. How are you getting ads? There should not be any fucking ads on this video because I am not a Twitch partner. I'm not a Twitch partner yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hope you guys know, but now, nah, um, back to the take it as seriously as you guys or as, as a lot of you in the community like a lot of y'all really put the time the effort into actually doing this shit and i don't put the same amount of effort i don't have the same amount of time to be able to invest to learn about the um the move sets and to learn about and the time to actually train the pokemon the right correct way you know what i'm saying it's, it just takes a whole lot my mic ain't cut off hold the fuck up Bro, what is happening, bro? Check, check, check. Yeah, what the fucking hell was that? We having all, t bro, we having all types of difficulties. I don't know what, I don't know, man. I ain't streaming so long, y'all. Give me, give me, cut me some slack, guys. I can cut on my camera and live stream. I can make a damn video, but I can't make my fucking bed. Like, what type of shit? Can't even make my damn bed, but... It is what it is, man. I don't know why this is happening. Why, I'm, why my mic is disconnecting and all this shit is going on. But I will, I will have it fixed, you know, by the next time that I go live, probably for sure. And if I can't get it fixed, then I'm gonna live stream off my laptop. But back to what I was saying about the whole Pokemon thing. I suck. I'm not the greatest. You know what I mean? I'm okay. I know how to play the game. I can beat every goddamn trainer in the game, but. There's, when you go to the community, the people are so fucking serious and real about battling and all that shit. They will bust my fucking ass. And they probably bust a lot, most of your asses as well. They bust them cheeks open. That's probably what they do to you. No joke, because they take it serious. They be like, nigga, I, I played 3,000 hours on this game. If you beat me, I'm going to kill myself. That's how they be, man. Like, they be serious about it. They will not take an L ever. And they be having... Like, they be knowing too much. They know every item in the game, the location of every item. They didn't beat the game five times. They didn't beat the Elite Four 300 times. Like, I'm not like that, man. I play the game. I enjoy the game. I'm good at the game. I can beat every damn NPC in the game. I know the moves and stuff, and I know how to pick good moves. And I, and I can be strategic and tactical. And I can beat most casual players. But you won't catch me beating people that like actually put time and effort like into it. Like you might catch me putting like probably 150 hours, 200 hours max into a Pokemon game. So that's why I'm not gonna be doing any tournaments because I just suck. If y'all want to fight and y'all want to do tournaments and shit and y'all want to trade amongst yourself, y'all feel free to do that and I support you doing that. But will I be doing that? That's a big no for me, and I want you to just understand why. <clears throat> but um. Yeah, of course, Icy Blue, man. All of us, all of us, we're part of the community, man. We're all friends, you know what I'm saying? So don't worry about it. You don't have to thank me for that. That's something, you don't have to thank your friends for being your friends because if you have to thank them to begin with, then they're already, that's already an issue because they shouldn't feel like they're doing you a favor by being your friend. I'm not doing you a favor by being your friend, bro. I'm not doing you a favor by, by streaming to you. I'm, I'm, I'm just hanging out with you. We're doing each other a favor. It's a mutual thing. You like hanging out with me. I like hanging out with you. We like kicking it. And it, it, that's just how it is, man. Don't let no other creator tell you otherwise. And they get the dick stuck so far up their ass that they just start thinking that they're coming out their dick when the dick in their ass is coming in them. Pause. Mega pause moment. But I had to put it in a way that just makes it sound bad because it just sounds bad when, when a creator thinks that he's doing the audience a favor by live streaming. You ain't doing them no favor, bro. You're just sitting in front of your camera chatting and talking to them and, and, and live streaming. Yeah, it is mentally draining to do that every day. But look, at the end of the day, you guys are my niggas, and I'm your nigga as well. And it is just is what it is. If you don't appreciate your audience and they don't appreciate you, what the fuck are you even doing, right? Just just letting you know. But um end of the day, we're gonna go back to uh go back to this um this 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 live stream. I had planned uh to play Resident Evil and I was waiting, I was waiting weeks, months, three months to be exact. I got Resident Evil Revelations 1, I got Resident Evil Revelations 2, 
And I'm telling you, I've been excited to play them on stream with you. And I've been holding off on playing the story. But my computer just crashed all of my um, USB devices. So I don't know how I'm going to do the live stream. Because if it's going to keep on crashing my USB devices like that, it's just not going to work how I want it to. So ultimately, when I get... See, look at me freezing and shit right now. Ultimately, when I get back... When I get back uh, on the YouTube platform, I will I will be using my laptop, which doesn't have the same issue of like freezing and all this shit like this computer is doing right now. So look at that, man. That is crazy. I'm so sorry that y'all got to deal with this shit. I know it's fucking annoying and it looks like shit. You every every time I say a sentence, I freeze. Watch, I'm warping. Oh! in another place you see what i'm saying oh i'm over here now oh look at that shit man i know it's probably giving you a motion sickness it's like you can still hear me talking to you but i just freeze my face that's because the camera i don't know what's going on with this camera but i will have it configured and ready to go by the time i hit my next stream i was like i said gonna do resident evil uh or whatever but that shit is not working out so what i think that we will do is I think that um, my boy Smokey introduced me to this wonderful website. It's called Rab.it, Rabbit. And I love what he did there where he brought his audience over with him and they watched the movie together on that website. So what I think I want to do is maybe we can all go kick it and watch a movie together. What do y'all think about that? Let me, yo, Picto Chat was lit. Yo, Kirby, Picto Chat was lit. Don't even play. Has donated $50. Thank you, Cole Mr. Six. What? Was that real? Bro, was that real? Huh? You're joking, right? Cole Meister has donated $50. Oh, wait, what? What the fucking shit? Was that real? How do I get... Why didn't it pop up on Streamlabs? What the fuck? Oh my god. Cole Meister 6 is now following. What? what uh, so, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Is that really real? Why didn't it pop up? Where did, where did that money even go, Cole Meister? I don't think that went to me, bro. He said, yes, that shit is real. Okay, well, shit, let me go to my stream labs and make sure. Either way, thank you. I appreciate it. But I hope I'm not being an idiot because I don't know shit about Twitch. I know not a damn thing about Twitch. So if you did donate to me, thanks, man. Like, I really appreciate it. Colmeister, who are you? Are you from my YouTube? Stop fussing. My mommy is watching. I'm sorry. Hi, mom. Hey, Waffle, let me say this, okay? Since your mom's watching, I got a way to get you out of get you off of punishment. I got a way to get you off of punishment. If you ever do get on punishment, I can tell your mom this. If you if she ever Oh my god. What in the freaking crap? Colmeister, are you from my YouTube or are you from Twitch? Yo, Gorse, how did you know what I was going to say? <laughs> Gorse, how did you know what I was going to say? I was going to fucking say that. I was like, bro, I'll fuck your mom and keep you off of punishment. <laughs> oh, shit, yo. How'd you know? Yo, that's wild as a bitch. Yo, Cole, I don't know where that money went to, man. I'm trying to I'm trying to access it or see it or whatever. No, don't leave. How you just come through, smack me with fifty dollars and leave, bro? Look, I want to say thank you anyway. Before you go, quick before you go, thank you so much for the donation. As you see, I'm live on Twitch. I don't even I don't get much love on Twitch, man. My Twitch is dead. So I just want to say I appreciate you coming through and showing me love. You are a real one. I will remember your name. I hope if you do pop up on my YouTube channel that your name is the same because I will show you that respect and I will show you that appreciation that you do deserve. So I hope hope that when you transfer over to YouTube, I'm going to be back on YouTube probably tomorrow, day after tomorrow, some shit like that. I want to say thanks, man. Let's watch Chills on YouTube, bro. I've been watching. I don't want to watch Chills. I've been watching, uh, uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, Nukes Top 5. Oh my God. 
Nigga, no fucking way. That shit is... That shit is real. I've come across many videos on there that are le that look so legit that literally made me have nightmares and my girl have nightmares. I've tried communicating with the dead now. Now I have come across ghosts in my life. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm, I'm we're gonna have we're gonna have a quick little story time. How you guys feel about it? I want to tell y'all my ghost stories. Y'all want to hear my real, actual, true ghost stories? No joke. No trolling. No joking around and bullshitting. I swear to God, being so serious. What do y'all want? Y'all want to hear my ghost stories? All right, I'm not even joking. No, I'm being, I'm trying to be very serious right now. Like, not, no kidding around. So, oh, you said on stream? I'm not going to get banned. I'm on Twitch. But I don't want to ban the only platform I have to stream on right now. If I get accepted back on YouTube, then maybe I might do something like that on Twitch. Uh, <laughs> doodle, <laughs> double ban. Yeah, maybe I might do something like that on Twitch. If I get my if I get my YouTube platform back, but for now I'm gonna hold off on that. I'm gonna tell y'all about these ghost stories that I have. Like I'm not even kidding. So as a kid, as y'all knew, y'all already knew. I grew up. Uh, my mom was a single parent, single mom. So I, I was born, and my dad had just passed away right before I was born. As a child, I'm in my I'm in my crib, the baby crib upstairs. We live in this town, this little small town out in the country called Louisa. Now we had this house. When you walk into the right is the uh, living room, and the couch is like right there and stuff. And then there's a hallway that lead. No way! No 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 no! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! I'm, I'm I got this mixed up. When you walk in to the left was the living room, and there's a couch right there on the left. On the right hand side, there's a hallway that goes to the back. And when you get to the back, there's my older brother. His name is Nakoma. His bedroom is right there. You walk through his bedroom, there's a door that leads into the den. But the den was like you take a step down and it's just like this big room or whatever where my mom had this rocking chair at. First thing that I noticed about this house as a child, about three or four years old, was that the rocking chair would move back and forth on its own, strangely, somehow. And I had no idea how that that was possible. And I know you guys are like, how do you fucking remember that when you're three years old? I'm not kidding. Things like that, you do not forget. And I mean that so much. Now, next, at this same exact house, so I said to the right, there was a hallway that led to the back to the den, but to the... but. To the left of that hallway, like, so there's a living room right here to the left, but a little bit at the back of the living room, there's the hallway that leads, to the right is the den in my brother's room, but to the left is the kitchen. And then in the kitchen, there's a door that leads upstairs that goes to, like, there's a room over here on this side. It's my older brother. His name is Charles. There's my older brother Charles's room is on this side. And then across from my older brother Charles's room is my older brother Brandon's room. And Brandon shared a room, I believe, with Nakoma. And my brother Charles shared a room with my, my older brother Jonathan. I got, I got six older brothers, so I know it's a bit confusing. So I sleep in Charles's room because Charles, he always took care of me when I was, when I was, when I was a, a baby or whatever. I'm three years old, so I'm still an infant pretty much, technically speaking, or a toddler or whatever. So I was sleeping in his room and I wake up one night, my back being very, 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 very warm. And there's this like golden hand that I see on my back. So I tell my mom about it. And she's like, oh, don't worry about it. It's probably your dad watching over you. So I go back up there and lay down and my brother Charles comes and puts me to sleep. I wake back up probably three or four hours later it's silent in the house but no one is around me in the room and normally my brother Charles his bed is like right next to where my my crib was so I'm expecting it's not even really a crib it's just like a child's bed you know like it's like a child's bed like I know you guys have seen like the Lightning McQueen kids beds and stuff I had a kid bed but it wasn't Lightning McQueen it was just a regular bed but it had like a, a car cartoon characters on the bed sheets and stuff and it was like plastic um, bed frame. It wasn't like wooden like this one or like a real serious adult bed frame. So I go back to sleep and I'm, and I'm knocked out or whatever. Wake up like three or four hours later after he'd already come back and put me to sleep. Nobody is around. It's dead silent in the house. Literally the wind shutters. I mean the window next, the shutters next to the window start shaking and rattling. And I'm like terrified and scared. The closet door, I didn't, and I was thinking like it was slid open. Cause I'm like, I, when I went to sleep, I didn't really remember that shit uh, being open, but it was open when I woke up and I'm just terrified. And I see the golden hands walk right out of the closet, just hands. It was two hands. It was nobody, just two golden hands 
walk right out of the closet, and then it goes straight into the hallway, and then it disappeared to the right. Now, to the right, if I'm laying in the room, if, if I'm laying in the room, when you walk out the door to the right, straight across is my other brother's room, but to the right is back down the steps. I run, I run, I'm screaming at the top of my lungs down the steps. My mom, my mom and my brothers come and try to figure out what's going on with me, and I told them to explain, and then they were like, my mom is, my brother's nickname, Charles, his nickname is Cap, so my mom calls him Cap, she's like, Cap, why don't you just stay with him for the rest of the night? I don't even know what time it was at this, at this point, but he stayed with me for the rest of the night, nothing else happened. At this same house, though, my mom was in an abusive relationship with another guy that she had dated after my dad had passed away. And this guy had put his hands on her a bunch of times and whatnot. So she's crying sitting on the couch one day after they break up. And she kicks this dude out. And my mom said that the, she felt the couch push down next to her. And then she looked and she could see the imprints of someone's butt next to her. And then she said she felt the most comforting warmth all around her whole body and made her feel much better and helped her stop crying. But she said she was so scared that she stopped crying because of that. She didn't stop crying because this thing comforted her. She stopped crying because she was so scared. And then she said she just started feeling so comforted. Fast forward a couple, uh, about a couple months or so, we're experiencing all types of shit in this house. Like we're hearing stuff going up and down the steps. The water faucet's cutting on and off by itself. The kitchen cabinets are slamming and closing on their own and stuff. And we go cut it off and stuff. And we're starting to get used to it at this point. Like, we're starting to get tired of it and just used to it at this point. And then we decide, you know what? It's time to move. And it wasn't because we were scared of that shit. It wasn't because we was worried about it or nothing. Because we it just it just started to become a normal thing in our life. And it wasn't like, it wasn't threatening to us. Like nothing, it wasn't throwing things across the room. It wasn't like attacking people in the house or nothing. It was just like peaceful, just doing stupid stuff like cutting the water on and off or cut, opening and slamming the cabinets as if it, it was like as if someone was still living there. So we go to, when we go to move out, we go, my mom goes into the garage and won't believe this, but she ends up telling us when we move away and we're standing in the garage that before they moved in and decided to take this house that there was a rope hanging down from the ceiling where the previous owner of the house decided to hang himself and committed suicide in that house. And we moved away that same day, and I didn't ever look back, but then I found out, and we all found out, that the house burned itself down. No one moved in the house afterwards, but the house burned itself down. No joke. And it's completely, to this day, the only thing left remaining of that house is the chimney because it was brick. Crazy. And that's the first ghost story. Now, I have like probably three more that actually took place in my life. So um, probably about when I'm around 13 or 14, um, we moved to this house that's over in like the west side of Henrico. Uh, Henrico is a, a, a prefecture or a, a sub city of Richmond. It's like a section of Richmond where I had lived when I was like 13 or whatever. So we moved to this house on Redstone Drive. And this house is really nice. It's, it's uh, in a nice neighborhood. And we were just happy to be moving out of the hood because we had just previously lived in the hood before then. And before that, we were in this dirty, disgusting farmhouse. I moved over 20 something times, over 25, I would say times in my life. I moved more than one time per year. And that's sad because I would lose my friends every time I move. And I'm not joking. But so we moved to this house at Redstone, probably only stayed there like eight or nine months. But at this house, one day my mom and my brothers were all out and about. I'm I'm a, I'm a PlayStation 3 gamer at this time. I'm in probably in about ninth grade. And I'm playing Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots. That same game that you guys see me play to this day. You see me play that game on stream every now and then. I've been addicted to that game ever since I was a child, and that's my this one. Metal Gear Solid is my favorite series, right? So I was playing that game. I get off. I get into this party chat with this girl that I used to talk to at the time, and we're chatting, we're chatting, we're chatting. She's like, I gotta go. She's going. She's she's going to work. She's much older than me. She was like sixteen. She was like three three or four years older than me. But we were dating, and she lived out of state. We had an online relationship together. So she goes to work. And as she leaves, we get off the phone. I'm sitting there and I'm kind of sad and like, you know, I'm just like, damn, like I'm lonely now. I'm just in my room by myself now. Whereas before I was, I was able to party chat with her. I was able to play the game online and stuff. I still could have got back online, but I did it. I just decided to just hang out and just chill. 
and I had a cell phone at the time, but it was like one of those flip phones. The, it was like the orange flip phones where it, the phone, the phone like it's normal like this. The phone is like normal like that, but then you can, you can unfold it and there's a keyboard under it. But it like it had a regular keypad at first, right? You, I think you understand what I mean. I hope you understand what I mean. I hope you've seen this type of phones. So the regular keypad at first, right? And um, I'm talking on that phone, called my mom to see where she was, and they told me they were on the way back. I go and I go go to the bathroom to take a leak or whatever. After I got off the phone with her, I suddenly start hearing like loud thumps, boom, 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 boom. There's some type of banging happening on the floor under my feet. First thing I'm thinking is like, yo, we got some type of plumbing issue or something going on in the house. So I'm like, well, I'll just let mom know when she gets home. This is the first time that it had ever happened. I leave, I walk out of the bathroom, and every single, I lie to you not, every single step I took, this thing or whatever it was, right under my feet, boom, 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 banging super hard, following me. My room is all the way down the hall, bro followed me all the way to my room and stopped when I stepped foot in my door. I'm terrified. I jumped on my bed and I sit there and I'm just like, yo, what the fuck was that? Holy shit. I'm sitting there. And I'm just scared as fuck. Next thing you know, I'm as I'm sitting, probably like, I want to say two or three minutes pass under my bed, like on the floor. I, I hope you know, it's not like above the floor, under the floor of my house. I just hear the most violent shaking. It felt like an earthquake almost, but it was just right under my floor. I jump off my bed. I run up the hall and everywhere on my feet went, like it was following my feet. I sprint into the living room. I go out into the front of the house. We had a brick house. I go into the front of the house and I'm like, what the hell? I'm looking around. I'm looking around. My mom's car is nowhere to be found. It's the middle of daytime. So I go, I go around to the back of the house where the crawl space is located. I look up under the crawl space and I'm looking under there and I'm like, what the fuck? And I didn't, we, I didn't have a flashlight. Phones didn't have the little flashlight app built in at, the, at that time. I didn't have nothing. I just, it was just dark. I could see kind of because, you know, a little bit of light shining in, but it was just nothing. I couldn't see anything really, nothing under there. So I'm just confused, like what the hell it is? I go back in the living room. I'm terrified to go back in my room. I'm just sitting in the living room the whole entire time, waiting for my mom to get home, just looking out the window, pacing back and forth like oh my god i can't believe this happened oh my god the tv was on but i muted the tv with the remote and didn't even cut it off i muted it because i wanted something to visually distract me because my imagination was kind of like playing its toll where it's like kind of wilding out just telling you what if everything what if you get possessed what if you get killed what if there's a you know someone creepy just trying to like kidnap you or something i don't know i was just everything was going through my head I called my mom. She didn't pick up the phone. That made me think even more that this was a prank, an elaborate prank or hoax that was being placed on me by my family. I watched, I was sitting at the window and I watched all of them pull up and all of them get out the car normally, like nothing happened at all. Like they didn't even, they had not a clue in the world. And when they walk in the house, I'm panicked. I didn't even run outside. I just waited and I was just mad. And I thought they were going to come in laughing at me. You know, I was waiting to hear the laughs. They just walked in and they just said, hey, what's up? They just said, hey to me, walk to the kitchen and put the put the food away that they got from Costco. And I was like, what in the fucking hell? So I started talking to my mom. I'm like, mom, I'm like, yo, y'all, what was that about? And they're like, what are you talking about? And they literally don't understand what the hell I'm talking about. And they're asking me like, what do you mean? And I told my brothers, I was like, Something was under the house, banging on the floor under my feet. At every single step that I took, it was banging on the ground under my feet. And I'm losing my mind. And there, and he's like, oh my God, that happened to me the other day. I'm like, yo, what the, f this something is something and something's not right here. All right, so fast forward probably like um, when I'm 20, 21, about 21 or 22, about three or four years ago. Fast forward, and this this was literally like seven or eight years after that incident. So fast forward when I'm 21, I'm at this house. There was a roommate I had. His name was Nathan. He's a kind of a little bit bigger guy, really cool, really chill dude. Uh, he was at first for the most part. And, um, you know, all, all of our relationship with each other was great at first. So nothing strange in the house at first either. And that's the weird part too, which makes me think that this ghost... Whatever ghost that I ran into in this house that I'm talking about with Nathan was not tied to me. This was tied to him and it might have been someone he did something to that passed away or someone he actually murdered or I don't know. But the guy 
at first seemed like he was completely fine. Like there's nothing wrong with him at all whatsoever. There's no problems with him mentally or anything. Like he just seemed completely stable. Fast forward about a month and then you start to just see things just coming out. Like him t talking about things that are like that get on his nerves or that bother him. And he starts making hints at uh, little racism jokes or whatever that his friends would tell. And then he starts telling me that he got fired from his job. And he starts talking about his previous co-workers and how, why, he got, uh, why he got fired from those jobs and whatnot. And I'm just like, uh, the reasoning behind it just doesn't make any sense to a normal person that you would react the way that he reacted to those situations. So I don't want to talk about his whole life because this is about ghosts. But I want to give you some insight to where my mind was at when I'm hearing all this stuff coming from him. So ultimately, um, he starts talking about all these reasons behind why he got fired, bosses he had problems with, co-workers that he hated, ex-girlfriends that he would stalk, that he would follow around and just to see what they were doing. And I'm like, you're broken up with her, bro. You shouldn't be wasting your time doing that. So, but in my head, I'm like, I'm not going to spend my time sitting here trying to tell another man what to do with his life. I'd rather I'd rather mind my business, pay my bills, stay to myself in my room and not worry about a goddamn thing that he's got going on with him. And that's what I decided to do. I decided to be more of a listener in the conversation instead of the one speaking or giving advice. So I would just listen and hear him out and he'd be stressed out all the time. He he had a nice ass car, but for some reason he never drove his car. He always decided to walk to work and his car worked perfectly fine. He just decided not to drive it from what he had told me initially. So uh, that's about a, that's about all the information I had on him after about a month of staying with him. But then fast forward about two weeks after that, the neighbors, I'm walk outside the house and the neighbors start talking to me. They start telling me all types of crazy stories arguments that he had gotten into with his ex-girlfriend and how many times the police came over and said that he himself watched Nathan come out of the house covered in blood and he didn't know if it was Nathan's blood or if it was the girlfriend's blood but he was scared to even go outside and see what was going on but later that night he had saw Nathan get arrested so I'm like well Nathan must have did something but he said he saw the girlfriend leave I want to make sure that that's clear and that you guys understand he did see the girlfriend leave and she looked fine besides the fact that she was limping fast forward about a week or so me and Nathan start to have uh falling outs because he starts to say things like I like he starts he's just he was actually very 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 bipolar which there's nothing wrong with that but he decided to not take his meds and on top of being bipolar he had a slew a whole slew of other mental ailments I don't I can't even really remember all of them but he had a whole slew of them like I'm talking like a combination pack of like 20 different ailments going on at once and like he could hear voices in his head and things like that all the time at all all at once though with these emotions going on and you can imagine how that's dangerous but he it was something it was something to do with the fact that it's like episodes episodes that he has not not like consecutively happening so he when he would come talk to me he'd be completely fine but then he would go off to himself in his room and then he would be having episodes and stuff like that all the time. So we would hear, I started hearing him more and more screaming and yelling in his room and like, fuck! And then just hear like loud stumps, boom, 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 like bangs in the house. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? I stayed upstairs in the attic with Mikado. Me and Mikado just said, decided to stay to ourselves. I'm working hard and hard, hard at learning music at this time. I'm trying not, I'm trying not to go to college so that way I can save my money. Uh, and save my money and not pay to go to college and be in debt years later. So I was just focused. I had speakers. I was when he starts raging out like that, I would just turn my speakers up, continue producing my music, continue playing music, whatever it was I was doing, or I would jump in my car with my girl and we would leave and go down to the river and have fun. So I hear him screaming and yelling and banging and stuff, and I'm like, all right, whatever, fuck it. One day I got tired of it. It had been this had happened. It had happened for a consecutive month. I gotta say, every day for a month, and I'd only been living there at that point for about two and a half months, right? So it started happening every day, all the time. This man is just acting crazy, acting super crazy, banging and beating shit up, and like just making super loud noises. I decided I'm gonna go down and listen. So I went downstairs, I went to the bathroom, I sat in the bathroom, and I just listened for a minute. And I hear him, and he starts talking. I'm like, is he on the phone? 
he wasn't on the phone. I knock on the door. I, I decided to leave the bathroom and knock on the door when he started getting violent again. And I knocked and I was like, yo, Nathan, you all right, bro? I'm like, you good? And then he comes to the door and he answers and he's like out of breath. And he's like, ah, and he's breathing. And now, like I said, Nathan's a little bit bigger. Like, I mean, you guys know the size I am, but I want to say he was probably like, you know, at least a good 50 to maybe 80 pounds bigger than I am. I, I'm about 190. And and I'm 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 muscle, I'm lean or whatever. He wasn't he wasn't leaned out or anything, just just like, you know, a little bit out of shape, but kinda in shape. He was one of those guys. Like, you're kinda in shape. You're like you're like big swole with a lot of fat uh percentage, but you're 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 not like swole swole with no fat percentage. He was like he had muscle, but he it was like under under his fat. So he answers the door, he's breathing heavy, and I, and I see him like and I'm just feeling disturbed because I'm like, this dude is really, something's bothering him really bad. And I'm asking, are you okay? Are you okay? And he's just sitting there looking at me, just breathing heavy. And I'm like, yo, dude, you all right? And then he starts to say, yeah, man, I'm just tired of this shit. I'm like, tired of what? I'm like, is my music too loud or something? He said, no, I didn't even hear it. He said, just, they keep fucking with me. And I'm like, who's fucking with you? And he's like, nothing. Don't worry about it. I'm okay, bro. I'm okay. Sorry if I bother you. And he shuts the door in my face. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I go upstairs, I just tell my girl about it, we laugh it off or whatever, and we're like, man, this motherfucker's crazy, we need, to, we need to find a new place to move to. Fast forward again, probably like a week or so, my girl's at work. This man, I'm asleep upstairs, and I, and I was smoking weed at the time, heavily, like all the time, and I was drinking really heavily, like all the time. And I'm not talking about these little Coronas, these, this wonderful beer corona i was drinking liquor so i would be i would get fucked up and just pass out like i was just music weed and and liquor all day every day i was drinking bombay gin all that all the time knocked out bang 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 on my fucking door right i wake up stumbling around falling around and shit the police are at my door I'm like, what the fuck did I do? Like, why the hell are the cops at my house? Like, what, what the hell? And how they get in the house? And they're like, can you come out here and talk to us for a second? And I'm like, for what? What is going on? Like, I'm literally just shook at this moment. I'm like, shit. I'm like, I got weed in the room. I'm like, I'm drunk. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, what did I do? So I ended up going out to talk to them. And they say, your roommate tells us that you broke into his room. You stole dishes out of his room. And cleaned the dishes and put them in the uh, in the thing next to the sink. Like, you know how there's a little basket next to the sink where you let the dishes dry off? Said, I broke into his room, stole his dishes, and cleaned them, and left them in the fucking sink. I'm like, what are you talking about? That is the craziest thing I ever heard. And then I go downstairs, and I'm like, no, I want to talk to him right now. They're like, you need to keep your distance from him. He's kind of worked up right now. I'm like, what? I yell out to him. I'm like, Nathan! Nathan, what are you talking about, bro? I broke in your room? He's like, yeah. I took all the dishes out the kitchen and I put them in my room and I made sure that you guys couldn't use any more of my dishes. I wanted to make you get your own and I was going to talk to you about it tomorrow, but I come home today from work and there's dishes in the sink that are clean and I would already taken all the dishes. I'm like, Nathan, I had dirty dishes in my room. I've been drunk all day, bro. I was drunk. I had dirty dishes in my room and I took them out of the fucking sink. And then I put them into, I put them, I, mean, I took them out of my room, cleaned them and put them in the sink. Sorry, I was reading the chat. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with this dude, man? Like, what are you talking about? And he's like, look, I got proof. You broke into, the, into my room right here. I can see it on the door. And he shows the cop and he tries to show me uh, this little thing where like the, the wood had been like, looked like it had been like pried open or something. I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about, man? I'm like, you look, man, I'm like, am I, am, are you guys want to arrest me for something? Because I didn't fucking break in his room. And what do I look like stealing dishes? How is it? And I said, how is it even stealing if you wash it and put it in the sink anyway? I'm like, what do I look like breaking into his room to clean his shit and then drop it in the sink? And I'm like, Nathan, do you have your other dishes in your room? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, all right, can we go in there and look at him right now? And he wants to stop the cops from going in his room. He wants to stop me from going in his room. He doesn't want to show his room at all. And he keeps the light cut off pitch black. That was just like a sign to me. And I, and I thought about it at that moment. I'm like, I've never actually seen the inside of your room ever in my life. So why would you say I broke in there? I don't even know what it looks like. I'm like, Nathan, your light is always off. Your room smells like piss. It smells like shit. 
I'm like, I don't know what the fuck your room looks like, but I know when you open the door, a wave of shit just comes out and just fucking smacks me in the face every time I talk to you. I'm like, you know what? This is bullshit. If I'm not being arrested, guys, I'm going to go back upstairs and go back to sleep. It's three o'clock in the morning. I'm like, I didn't understand what the hell is going on. And Mikado was at work, but she, when she got off, apparently she had went to her, uh, went to her parents' house. I was sleep the whole day. I was drunk the whole day, fell asleep, and woke up, and then I had to call Kato and tell her what was going on. So while the police are there, I make a song about the police. You can actually go on my uh, Reverb Nation and listen to the song where I talk about this exact same story in the intro. Talk about this roommate, Nathan, calling the police on me about breaking in his room, stealing dishes. I talk about the whole thing, what I told the police, and all that. And then I made a song about pretty much like... You know, dissing, dissing Nathan for uh, calling the police on me and shit like that uh, at that moment. Fast forward about three days and this is where, where things started getting really bad. He's like, he doesn't want to accept our rent money anymore and he wants us to move out. And I'm like, you got to give us 30 days, bro. That's not how it works. So then he decides he can't stay in the house anymore and that they are bothering him too much. And he said that to me directly. They're bothering me too much. He's like, they won't leave me alone. And I'm like, who? I'm like, we won't leave you alone? I'm like, we don't even bother you, man. We don't even talk to you. He said, no, they won't. Rushes out the door with his stuff in his hands, gets into his car, which he never drives, like I told you, and leaves. I go next door and talk to the neighbors. I'm like, what is going on? The neighbors tell, tell me of all the stuff about him having all those uh, disorders and everything. They end up telling me that he actually caused those markings on his door himself because when him and his girlfriend had got into an argument, she locked him out and he had to break into the door to get in there. And he said that the police should have been able to see that on the police report when they called, when when they were called out this time. They should have been able to see on a previous police report that that is exactly what happened and how those markings appeared. And I'm like, wow. And I said, why doesn't he ever drive his car? He drove his car today. Apparently, he's he's not allowed to drive because of the uh, the psych ward or whatever of the hospital that he got out of said that he's not capable of driving. So he drove away with his car, took his car and everything. And he and then the neighbors tell me that he told the neighbors that I peed on his car, that I like keyed his car and that I did all these things that I never did. I swear, like I'm not even joking. I never if I did, I would tell you guys right now. Nathan has no way of seeing this video ever in his life. I never will contact him or even hear from him again, but I'm telling you right now, I never keyed this man's car. I had good reason to probably want to do that, but I never did. It never, the thought never crossed my mind. And why would I pee on his car? The rain would just wash it right off. So I didn't do that shit. But I'm like, the neighbors are telling me he said all that. That day that he left, that night, I, I told Kata about it, but that night, she's at work. She's telling me she's gonna get off work and come over to where, uh, to, that, to that house where I'm at and stay with me that night because she's bouncing back and forth between her parents house and with me she wasn't fully always staying there at the house with me but most of the time she was i'm like okay i go outside i go to the store i get a couple of beers I get, i'm drinking miller high lives at the time and i come back inside and i look to my right there's on the right of the uh on the right of the house the living room is right there when you walk in but on the right side of the living room there is a door that leads to this uh this this screened in balcony Peppermint. Wow. Wow, thank you. Wow, thank you for the $10, Peppermint. Um, why is the voice doubling? Man, that's weird. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's weird. It's doubling. But, yo, thank you for the 10 I appreciate it, Peppermint. Much love to you. Um, but like I said, on the right side of that uh, the living room, there is a... Uh, a, a porch that's screened in with like um, screens, the ones that just keep bugs out, but air can still flow through freely. But there's a glass door and it's got like a full body glass, right? So as I walk through the living room with my beers in my hand about to go upstairs, I look to my right and I see a girl standing in a white dress and she's transparent see-through. I see her in the reflection, but I don't see her in real life. And I'm looking at her, but then I'm looking over there and there's nothing and I'm looking and I keep looking back and forth and I'm like, what the, what the? And I just decided, I just ran. I took off and sprinted up the steps to the attic where we stayed. I ran up there, I shut the door and locked it. I heard footsteps coming up the steps like I heard the creaking and the and the thump of a heel hitting it boom 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 
coming up the steps slowly, my heart just starts beating faster and faster and faster and faster. It just starts coming through like, I'm just getting terrified. I caught my girl up. I start telling my girl, I'm like, yo, babe, oh my God, I can't believe this. I'm like, I'm like, I just saw a fucking, I saw a ghost. There's a ghost here at the house. She's like, oh my God, don't tell me that. You're going to scare me. I'm not coming back there. Don't tell me that. Don't say that. I'm like, babe, I swear there's a ghost here. I'm not playing. Like, I just saw it. I explained to her the whole story. She's like, no, I'm not coming back there for the rest of the night. She still ended up coming back there that night. But I was just terrified. I never unlocked the door. And she was like, can you open, when she got there, she was scared to come in the house. She's like, can you open the door? Because you can see the, the, uh, the, the attic. It's not really an attic. It's just a big bedroom. You can see the bedroom where I was staying at right from the front door. So she's like, can you open the door? So that way when I open the front door, I can at least see you and I can run up. And I'm like, yeah, okay. So she, she, she walks up to the porch while she's on the phone with me. I open the door. She opens the door. She runs up. It was like we made a quick transfer. She runs up, jumps in the room. I lock the door and shut it. I was so scared to go to the bathroom that I would pee. I pissed in bottles, bro. I pissed in water bottles. And no joke, we literally moved out of there less than a week later. And like I told you, Nathan, we didn't have a reason to move. Nathan dipped out and moved on his own. And he said he wasn't accepting our rent money. So we didn't have to pay him. The landlord came by and was like, Nathan had already paid the bills up. For, for literally the next couple months, the lease was paid off. We could have stayed there to the end of the lease, which had like many months left. But we was not having, we didn't have to pay anything because Nathan just moved out. But we was not having it. We was like, we are getting the fuck out of here. And we got out of there and we ended up getting our own whole entire house. Probably the greatest uh, decision we ever did make. But uh, from that point forward, we didn't have any more ghost stuff happen. Just, just weird things like um, I would hear like, water bottles crackling on their own like you know like when you're sleeping in the middle of the night and then you just hear something go like like this like that out of nowhere like a water bottle just compressed itself or just squeezed itself you could just hear something just go like how the fuck did that happen and then i i started getting bold after watching nukes top five and I started making more, um, I mean, not making more, I started watching more and more videos, but then I would hear these water bottles going like that, and then I would be like, do it again if you're a ghost, or if, or if you're here from the afterlife, and then it would go and actually crinkle again, and my girl was there for a lot of them, a lot of the times that it happened, but there's been times where I've been chilling in the room, like just chilling, and over there on that shelf behind me, can you guys see it, yeah, that shelf behind me, I would hear something just fall over, and it would sound like this, kind of like that, but a little bit louder, it would fall over, and then it would drop, it would, what is that? Loser Poser 21. Thank you for the $20. I appreciate the love. Uh, let me go see what this link is that you just sent me. I hope it's not nothing crazy. Let's see. Let's see what this link is, guys. Loser Poser donated and wants us to check this out. Somebody said the stream keeps buffering. I know I'm lagging. It's my camera. I need I need an extra long cord. Um, let's see what this is. All right, I clicked on the link. I'm gonna open it up so everybody can see it. Some creepy shit, huh? <laughs> Too bad. I would yo that would have fucked me up. That probably would have fucked me up if I just clicked straight on it and I didn't have to open up the stream to show you guys. That would have fucked me up. That would probably would have got me really bad. No joke, because my headphones are cut all the way up. I got the volume cut down for y'all, but but uh, I got to have my headphones cut all the way up. But no, that's my um, that's my scary ghost stories, man. That's just about all the stuff that I've actually had happen to me um, for the most part, at least that I can recall at this moment, but... I mean, what do you guys think? Like, I saw. Have you ever seen anything like that in your life? Y'all ever saw any ghosts? Like, or ghosts? I actually saw a ghost. Like, not many people can say that they've seen a ghost. I actually saw that shit, bro. And then when I was watching, when I was watching uh, Nukes Top Five. 
there are so many videos that confirm the same exact thing that I was seeing. The ghost looks transparent and almost like it's blurry. Like you can't fully see what it looks like, but you can kind of see it. You know what I mean? Like I know that that sounds crazy, bro, but it's real. Like that, this shit is real, bro. It's real, bro. I know the ghost stories are cool, like this, like 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 watching the videos and shit like that, and seeing other people's stories. I want to pull up a specific video for you guys, and not in any way do I mean to copyright infringe you, Nukes Top Five. I don't in any way. I don't anyway mean to copyright infringe you, so I'm only gonna click through your video for the sake of just talking about it. But I have to show, I really have to show uh, everybody this video, man. If we've got, you've got, they have to see it. You have to know what I'm talking about. I, I can't like, I can't not show it. Like I just feel like that. I can tell you about it, but there is nothing quite like seeing it. And you got, I, I gotta show you guys, man. That's just, that's just the gist. Here, here we go. Where is it? It is uh, the one that is like 18 minutes long. By the way, this channel, I love this channel so much. And like most of the stuff he shows, I want you to know it is not no motherfucking camera tricks and effects. I work in After Effects and do editing and stuff, and it does not work like that. Ghosts aren't real, you pussy boy. Yeah, right. They're ghosts. Ghosts are real, I promise. They're real, I swear to God. I'm not joking. They're real. Look, you got it. You got it. All right, you know what? You think I'm a pussy? But until you experience it yourself, you're not going to believe what I'm saying. You ain't going to even understand. When you see it, you're going to see who the real pussy boy is. I did run, though. I'm a pussy when it comes to that shit. You can't play with me, man. Anybody is going to be scared. When you feel a presence standing next to you, sitting right there next to you, or you see it yourself, you feel it, there's nothing like that real fear, bro. There, you can't you can't just overcome that. Go, even ghost hunters think that they're... Ghost hunters think they're the shit until they encounter a real ghost, and then they turn straight into a pussy boy, too. Start screaming and these shit. Ah! running leave me alone no please please stop please look i ain't the same man yeah i'm a pussy when it come to ghosts i think anybody is you know why i'm pussy i can't lay the guns on them i can't lay the guns on them you can't hit a ghost i'm gonna punch a ghost i would i could put a ghost in a headlock i could put a normal person in a headlock with these guns but i can't fucking put a ghost in the headlock and you can't hit a ghost can't punch a ghost the ghost will just sling your ass across the room and you can't see the ghost so, well, some of them you can't see. They can go invisible anytime they want, and they go through shit. They can, like they, they, you be sitting there in front of them, and then they just go through you, like right through you, like you know what I mean. Like, tell me that that, that wouldn't scare you. If you tell me that wouldn't scare you, I would love to see you go to a cemetery late at night, bring a Ouija board out there, and send me a video of you doing that. If you do that shit, I accept that. I'll take that. Yeah, I'm a pussy boy if that's the case. But shit, nah. I ain't no pussy boy if it come down to it and you even would be scared. Hold on, I gotta find this video, okay? It's Ghost Caught in Camera. I think it's this one. I think it's this one. Hold up. Yep. Tell me this shit is fake, guys. I dare you say that shit. I'm gonna skip ahead. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say this out loud so y'all ain't gotta read this shit. Cause I already got to type into the chat and I know that's already fucking annoying to have to type out and spelling and shit like you run an English class right now. But I'm going to read this out for y'all. He says, okay, now it's like 11 p.m. and this is the third time I'm hearing this fucking noise. By the way, this guy is a worker at a stadium, at a football stadium. And the football stadium is closed. He's a security guard worker. Since he doesn't know what's going on. And he wants to record it now so people will believe him later. Because this has never happened to him before. Y'all can hear this shit?
Look at that shit. He said, for fuck's sake, right? Look at that shit, bro. Look at the door. Look. For fuck's sake, for fuck's sake. He opened the door. Where There was no, there's no one. Look at, oh my God, that just sent chills all up my whole fucking body. Bro, you couldn't hear it? I got the audio turned too low. I'm turning this shit all the way up. I was supposed to, by the way, I mean, let me hide that. I am still banned from YouTube and and it didn't. I didn't return back on Thanksgiving like I was supposed to. So let's just get rid of that. Here, let's turn the volume back up. I'm going to bring this back for you, man. Dios, Nigga! Pero como mierda puede ser que no haya nada. Ay. Oh! Tercera vez. Look at the ghost run by. Who is that? Furry. You suck. We can't hear shit. Shut up. I'm sorry. Okay, I I stopped talking. You suck. You suck. Can't hear shit. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. I'm gonna shut up for a second, okay? Let's get it one more time. Let's get it one more time. I'm gonna bring it back. I want. I don't even care if you hear this, okay? I want you to see this. Look at the black shadow that just right across the screen. Pero como mierda puede ser que no haya nada. Ay. Ya la tercera vez. Tercera vez que entro. No hay nada. Nigga. Bro, he walked through the whole entire thing. The night guard the seems to complete. That is fucking wild. And that's that's one that I wanted you to see. It gets crazier. I want to find the one. This one? Oh my fucking god. Yo, I'm gonna dim the lights for this shit. Let's set the mood right up in this bitch. You're gonna treat this like it's Valentine's Day, but it's not. It's spooky day because I missed Halloween. I'm hanging out with you guys on dim. <laughs> I don't know how y'all gonna see my ass like this. Y'all can still see me though, shit. Let's, let's watch it like this, man. I want y'all to see this one. Oh my God. Midnight right now. I was sleeping on my couch and I heard a loud bang. I've heard it before, but I didn't know what it was. I just thought it was the dogs on the deck or something. But I think if I sit and wait, you'll see. I just seen it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Velvet Vamp. Your gorgeous Buddha, I just found you on Twitch. I don't Buddha, even care just what found you on Twitch. Twitch. I don't just even sexy care LOL. what they're talking about. You're just sexy LOL. Yo, it would be so much better if the voice wasn't doubling like that, but I do appreciate the love. Thank you. Thank you very much, Velvet. That's uh, I really appreciate that. It's, it's pretty fucking uh, flattering, if you know what I'm saying. All right, let's get back to this video. Uh, guys, I know I know you guys are showing me how to love, but you don't have to donate to me this stream, okay? I wanted to just come back to y'all, and I wanted to hang out with you all and have a, uh, uh, like, and then somebody donated $50 to me earlier anyway, so, and I'm not talking about Melissa. Melissa donated 50 to me this morning, but then when I started streaming, somebody else donated 50 to me, and I mean, dude, that's a lot of money already. I'm not coming back. Um, asking you guys to help me out with anything or donate to me. You can if you do want to be recognized and you want to say something to the stream or whatever, but I, I I would recommend not doing it this stream, to be honest with you. I recommend you guys to just, like, 
focus on the content for right now. Enjoy the moment with me. And then maybe at the end of the day, you know, you want to smack me with a couple beans, you go ahead and do your thing, you know what I mean? But for now, let's try to let's try to focus on the content a little bit. And I mean, man, who the fuck am I kidding? Donate it all you want. What the fuck am I talking about? I'm going to tell you, no, don't give me your money. If you want to be generous enough to bless me with your overzealous blessings, I will accept your blessings. And I want to say thank you, and I do appreciate it. And all of you that has uh, donated to me so far, thank you, okay? And I, I'm going to shut the fuck up, because I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here talking about something. No, you don't have to donate. Nah, donate. Nigga, give me all the bread you want to give. I'm, I'm, I will take all of it, and I'll put it to a good use, and I appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, I love you. Thank you very much. No idea what it is. doors are opening and slamming on their own, and mysteriously, the light in the kitchen has been turned on by someone. I need to be able to see. I'm gonna uh, cut the light back on so I can charge these headphones up. Let's get these just charged. <coughs> oh shit! Better out than in, I always say. Excuse me. I'm not entirely rude, but I'm, I'm kind of rude, you know. Oh, hold up! We got a ghost story coming in from somebody. Who's this? My headphones just connected again? No, 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 no. You're not connecting. You're dead. Leave me alone. Ah, right, let's see. So. <laughs> Gorsh roasted the fuck out of you, Gengar. Oh, that's Waffle. He said, this isn't a ghost story, but it's pretty creepy. I was home alone at 8 p.m. and I hear a loud buzzing noise. I open my door and I go into my hallway and I look to my left and it's pitch black. The buzzing sound stopped and then I saw two beady yellow eyes. They closed and then I ran back into my room and locked that shit until my parents came home with my wooden sword next to me. Gorsh says, your Minecraft sword. <laughs> That's crazy. Hatsune Squidward. What's up, Ice Icy Blue? I've been we've been talking to me this whole time. Why are you saying hey like it's like like I'm just now showing up? Uh Game Nerd says I actually had an experience once where I was home alone and, and at when I was when it was midnight I was walking around my house. I went in my guest room and all the doors locked me in and the locks are meant to lock from the inside and I was the only one home. And then when the doors unlock, somehow I heard a glass bottle breaking with a teenage girl screaming as the bottle smashed. What in the fucking hell? That is some creepy shit. Y'all see what I'm saying? Yo, yo. One of y'all donated to me and called me a pussy boy. You see, more people have had ghost stories than those who have not. You get what I'm saying? I don't know. I personally like the idea of something unexplainable that you can't explain and that you have no idea what it was. I like that mystery. And I like to keep that mystery a mystery. And then I've also seen this shit. I like the idea of knowing that afterlife exists as well. I personally, even if, even if everything that I saw had a scientific explanation, I'd rather not accept that scientific explanation, to be honest with you. But I am a skeptic, to say the most. I am a skeptic. I do try to find reasons to why that can't be the case. And I and I would like to hear it, even though I might know that, uh, hey, like, this is the reason why I saw this, or this is the reason why this happened. 
I still like the idea of the possibility, but I will I will accept it, but I'm, I'm not going to say I'm going to be happy doing it. You know what I mean? I'm not going to put up an argument, though, and I'm not going to, like, argue with someone or try to disprove them. If they have absolute solid evidence that whatever I experienced has a scientific explanation, I'm more than likely, I'm a logical dude. You guys know I'm a pretty logical guy. I'm going to take that logic and go along with it. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah. Dude, I got bacon right here next to me. I didn't even eat. I, I don't know if y'all can see that, but on the plate, I got bacon and two oranges. All right, um, right, let's get back to this video. I need to fix the audio because I know that it's, uh, I know it's coming from, from the screen now. So it's going to be a little bit, you're going to hear echoes probably because I don't have headphones in. Wait, let me plug these headphones in. There we go. Okay, my Bluetooth headphones died, so let me plug in these in now. I don't want you guys to have to echo or hear an echo. Okay, and PC audio properties, uh, speakers, high attack definition. Okay, all right, let's test this out. Who on the shake? Look at my goosebumps. Bro, we gotta bring this back, man. We gotta bring this back. Y'all gotta see this shit, bro. For a minute. Look at look at the fucking cabinet. See what happens. Look at this shit. See what happens. This is scary. Oh, holy. <laughs> holy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh. No, 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 no. no. Holy Cupboard no. doors are opening and slamming no, on their own. No, no, Mysteriously, no, 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 hell no, nigga, no. The kitchen has been turned on by someone. Can I get up? Who on the shake? Look at my goosebumps. Oh, I bet you got goosebumps. Okay. That's the type of shit that mm, makes you dick soft. It's my grandma's old house, too. It's, it's That's the type of shit that makes you dick soft. That's shit that makes you dick soft. Remember that light not work anymore. Let's see what this looks like. He got close, man. I ain't see. I don't see. I don't want to go too close too. How would he pull it those directions too? That's just creepy. Yo, guys, you gotta watch the rest. You of have it. no idea. Like, there's nobody in my house right now. There's nobody in my house right now, and I can't, I can't tell you how much more true that statement is. Cause later on, he actually walks around the house and shows you there's no one there. Like not every single room, but at least in the close vicinity or whatever. I'm lagging. Am I lagging that bad? I'm lagging worse than I was before. God dang it, Bobby. All right, there we go. No, we're not back. I'm sorry about the lag, guys. My camera is sending the, um, it is sending the video input from the camera to my computer through a Wi-Fi signal because I don't have a, uh, a USB type C cable long enough to reach my computer. I'm going to have to get an extension cable uh, sooner or later. I'm not even sooner or later, man. I'm probably going to order one after the stream is over with, to be honest. I would do it now if I wasn't going to be revealing personal information by jumping on Amazon, like my address and shit. But you still hear me even when I my camera lags. It's just my camera. Just the just the video is lagging. It's not my voice. The stream itself still works. Like if I play the video, you'll notice I will pause, but the video won't. Like nobody. Pause. Watch. See? The video's still going. I can hear something I pause. in that room. Look at this shit, guys. <sighs> okay. It slams like That's funny. weird. What is that? Somebody's in that room. Ah, oh, okay. Oh my God. I can't even explain the chills that I got over me. I already knew that was going to happen and I still wasn't ready for it to happen again. Holy fucking shit. Look at the beads. I know you guys have seen it. Mainly in like older people's houses, they have these beads. You see it in a lot of Jamaican people's houses. They have these beads that hang down in the doorway that like, uh, you know, you just walk through. It's kind of, it's kind of just... I don't know what it's really for, to be honest with you. I can't say. I think it's more of a design thing. But it's these beads that you just push them out the way and walk through or whatever. These beads push all by themselves. 
You can't tie a string to that many fucking beads and make them all be pushed to the side. Have a string coming from your goddamn cabinet as well as like 50 lines of beads? It's not gonna look, no, it's not possible. It's not possible, bro. Look at this shit. And the cabinet slams closed again right there in front of his face. I'm cutting the camera, I mean not the camera, I'm cutting the light off. Uh, so we can get this creepy vibe going back again. So I ain't gonna lie. I kind of like that. Okay, it feels feels good. I want to make sure y'all can see me, though. Y'all can see me, right? Look, uh, y'all can see me, though, right? All right, cool. All right, look okay. Shit, bro. That's f***ing weird. What is that? Somebody's in that room. Oh, my God. Uh, oh. Okay, look at those goosebumps. I'm gonna go look. What's the worst that's gonna happen? Ooh, it's scary. There's like nobody in here. There is no one in there. What do you mean, like no one in there? There's nobody there. I'm freaking out, man. He's brave as fuck. This is though. scary. This is really scary. I knew I could hear stuff before, but I don't know. It's so weird. Weird? Like I could hear it. And the cabinet's just slamming behind him while he's talking to the f bro. I'm going outside. <sighs> you think? Shit went outside the first time that fucking cabinet opened and slammed like that. Look, I would I would love to react to this whole video and watch the whole thing, man. But there are so many good uh, other videos like this that are legitimate on this same channel. Waffle white boys want to stick around in the horror situation. You're damn fucking right they do. And that's all the damn time, bro. Them damn scary movies don't be lying, man. I, hey, hey, bro, my white side, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, you know, I'm half white, half black. My white side be kicking in sometimes. Sometimes I will hear bottles crinkling and shit, and I'll be like, I would talk to the ghost, like, if that was you and you're in the afterlife, do it again. Like, I be getting brave sometimes, bro. But I ain't gonna lie, there be mad moments where I'd be like, no, I'm getting the fuck out of here right now. I just want to say this, man. End of the day. Yeah, you. That's facts. That's facts. Rage kid, aka icy blue. That's facts, though, man. We be out, man. We don't take that. We don't play with that shit, man. It's no joke for us. But look, I, I got all I gotta say is this. This shit. This channel nukes top five. Go subscribe to him. As you can see, I'm definitely subscribed to him. I got the notifications cut on. He got over a million subscribers, so your subscription is really not gonna affect him. Or not, so it doesn't really matter if you do. I mean, if he was a smaller channel, I'd be like, make sure you go support him because, you know, it's going to help him build or whatever. But either way, I still want to give the guy credit and want to thank him for sharing these videos and compiling them into what they... You have an Ouija board? Waffle, do a video for us, bruh, if you're brave. Do a video... No, 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 no. Never mind. Don't do a video with no Ouija board. No, 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 no. See, for a second there, I thought that that was a good idea, but, uh... Yeah, no, 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 no. Fuck that shit, bro. No, don't do no Ouija board. I mean, if... No, 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 no. No, don't listen to Kirby. Do not listen to Kirby. Don't do no Ouija board. I honestly, truly believe that Ouija boards will fucking curse you and you can get possessed and all types of things. And I like my waffles crispy, not possessed. So uh, let's keep you crispy fried waffle or toasted waffle and let's uh, not Ouija board waffle. Gorsh, you're bugging, bro. You're bugging. Would you do it, Gorsh? You know a Ouija board is considered a kid's toy, right? I hope you know that. So that means if you're over the age of 12 or 13, you can go to the store and pick one up right now. I You you do it. You do it and send me the video. I ain't fucking with no Ouija board, bro. I didn't see... Y'all think it ain't real? Bro, y'all think it ain't real, bro? Bro. 
Nah, fuck out of here, bro. Hell no. You're lying. All right, hold up. All right, all right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, it's made by Hasbro. You got that right. Hold up, hold up, hold up. He think it ain't real? I'm going to show you a couple more videos, bro. Now we got to strange finish. paranormal activity. Get see now we got to finish this video. Now we got to finish this video. I got to, you got to see this now. I want you to see this now. Let me see what you got to say. Attached to him from the other side. The majority of the strange of children. All right, look, I'm going to fill y'all in about this, okay? So here right now, I hope y'all can see me. We got a uh, video um, coming from a Hispanic fella out in Mexico or New Mexico. I'm not sure which one. He had a stroke or a heart attack. He was in the hospital. And while he was unconscious in a coma, he saw a girl in his mind who said, I am going to heal you, but you have to take this teddy bear from me. So he when he awoke from his coma, his wife was there and said that she met a young girl who gave her a teddy bear that said, this is for your husband. It's going to heal him. I'm not fucking playing. I don't want to play the whole video because I don't want to copyright and fringe uh, Nuke's video and I don't want to do that to him. But that's what it, that's what he pretty much says at this point when he explains the story. The guy is completely recovered, completely fine. He takes the teddy bear home and that's when strange events start to happen with his own two kids. And I want you guys to see this and judge for yourself. This shit is fucking crazy, bro. Y'all think I'm kidding? Y'all think you think Ouija boards are cool? You think Ouija boards are a joke? You think it's a joke, fam? We about to find out. We're giving a tour out. of his this, son's room. This ain't even a Ouija board, but imagine what a Ouija board can do. This ain't even a demon attacking this man. But imagine what a Ouija board can do. After you see this, then you tell me what you think. I don't fuck around with no Ouija boards, no demonic shit for real. I might joke around about demonic shit and all that or whatever. But no, I'm not fucking serious, bro. Like, like hell no, nigga. He doesn't even notice, but a toy out. in the room moves on its own. The guy leaves and he talks to a psychic. And because he has a lot of st strange events happening in his house uh, based around the doll. The doll moving itself. Uh, things in his house moving and violent acts happening in his house. So this is the point where he's spoken to a psychic. A psychic has told him that he needs to go ahead and get some uh, incense and candles and burn them in the house and try to communicate with the ghost. So he does just that and that's where we're at right here in this point of, uh, of the video. And this is an actual video. Look, bro, look, who records an up and down? You know what I'm saying? And how can you edit a video where it's such bad quality? It's straight out of New Mexico, my dude. Like, this is real shit. Watch this toy move on its own right there. Watch. In this video, we see Ortega giving a tour of his son's room. He doesn't even notice, but a toy in the room moves on its own. Read the subtitles. Ahí está. Ahí Fucking that fuck yo. I don't know if y'all are paying attention. I know I talk a lot and I'm distracting you a bunch probably, but the fucking fan fell over on its own. Look at this shit. Ahí se volvió el patín ya. Ahí está. Look, nigga, I'm getting scared, bro. I'm about to cut the light on, bro. I'm not even joking, bro. I'm starting to literally feel chills, bro, because I didn't heard too many noises in this room myself like that, bro. I'm cutting my, I'm cutting, the, I'm cutting this shit back on, bro. I ain't playing no games with this shit. Hold up, my light almost fell over. It better not move. It better not fall, bro. I'm getting scared, bro. Who the fuck is that? What is that? Red. Okay, I'm not gonna read no names on Twitch because I learned my lesson already. But uh, thank you for following me, bro. Whoever you are, I appreciate it. Hey, look, I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna continue this video, bro. The fan fell over on its own. Ahí está. 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 In a later video, Beto Ortega returns to his home, this time with candles and incense. 
He says that a local psychic medium has advised him that this is the best way to cleanse the spirit from the house. He places the stuffed animal that the little girl gave him at the head of the bed in his son's room. Play with the Ouija but board if it you want, doesn't Bobby. work out so well. I dare you. Like he said, it won't Esta work out. This is my house. I'm the owner. I'm called Jorge. Si aún sigues aquí, me dijeron que eres la niña que me dio el peluche cuando yo estaba internado. Sigues aquí. Sigues aquí todavía presente con nosotros. Dios, se cayó el peluche. The stuffed animal fell on its own. Dios. And the pillow moved by itself, bro. Me dijeron que no tuviera miedo, que no era mal. Sigues aquí con nosotros todavía. A toy just bro. Bro, don't bro, do not play, bro. Look at this shit, bro. Like take this seriously, my dude. A fucking toy rolls out from under the bed after the pillow just moved, after the stuffed animal just fucking fell over. The same one the girl gave him when he was sick from a stroke in the hospital and said that that stuffed animal would heal him. And he completely got healed for real. He, it's like he sold a piece of his spirit to this, his piece of his soul or his body to the spirit and the spirit decided to stalk him in exchange. Y tratar de captar lo que necesitas. No quiero hacerte daño, no quiero que me hagas daño ni a mi familia. Voy a cerrar un poquito la puerta. Te dejé esa luz para que puedas llegar. Yo me llamo Jorge, esta es mi casa. Eres la niña que me dio el peluche en el hospital. Estás aquí conmigo. Eres la niña, esa niña hermosa que viene el sueño, que me dio el peluche para que me para que yo me curara. Dios santo. Chills Dios. all over me, bro. Dijo hola. I'm fucking yo. Estás. Yo no queremos hacerte daño. Eres esa niña, el niña hermosa que me dio el peluche. Estás aquí con nosotros, conmigo. Oh my God! So many chills all over, bro. I'm running, but it's for my kids. You're lost. 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 Dijo su mamá. Dice yo. Sí te escuché. Te escuché que ocupabas a tu mamá. No sé en qué más. No sé cómo ayudarte. Hay alguien que viene conmigo que te va a poder ayudar. Voy a cerrar la puerta para venir con este. Yo, Fire Luigi, aka Chris. I shouted you out at the beginning of this video, bro. I wanted to, um, I wanted to again. I'll thank you right now while you're here. Thank you for being a sponsor for so long. I'm back. I wanted you to help me do the stream, but you weren't here. But it's okay. I wanted you to help me in the sense of like helping me determine things, such as should I play music or should I this or should I that. You know what I'm saying? But. Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep the video going, man. We're watching some really scary shit, bro. But this shit is, this shit is not. <laughs> Waffle thinks it's okay to play with a Ouija board. I'm hoping that you, Chris, can talk some sense into this man. He thinks it's all right to play with Ouija boards. And he's gonna record a video of him and his friends playing with a Ouija board and send it to me. Waffle, I'm advising you against this. But if you choose to do it, man, I'm gonna put that shit up on the channel. I'm gonna watch it. And it is what it is. Esta persona para tratar de ayudarte, ¿ok? Dios, cómo pudieron ir. Si está aquí la niña, 
Es una niña chiquita. Tratando. No sé, tengo miedo. La verdad. Tratando lo suficiente. Bro, you just saw nobody was in the fucking room. Tell me you just saw that. I know you just saw that. Nobody was in that fucking room, bro. He just showed it, bro. No one was in there. How? Tell me this shit is, bro. Tell, bro. Tell me this shit is a joke if you want, Waffle. Gorsh. Kirby. Tell me it's a joke if you want. Tell me. I, I say it, bro. No. All right. I'm, I know I'm, I'm a horrible, I'm a horrible guy for telling you this, but there is an app where you can do a Ouija board with your friends right on your phone. If you really want to do it, man, I ain't gonna, I'm not going to stop you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let you go ahead and make your choice. You make your bed and you lay in it if you want. But shit, bro. It's an app that lets you do it with your friends right on your phone. That's all I'm leaving it at. I'm not going to tell you any more than that. I'm just going to leave it at that. If you and Kirby want to really do that shit together, the app is the app is there. I'm not going to tell you the name of it. I ain't going to tell you how to find it. I ain't going to tell you what device is on. You can do research for yourself. If you're that serious, you figure it out, man. Do that research and figure it out. Los me dijeron que podía. play with these demons, man. Don't, you think it's just a joke. Voy a abrir la puerta. No te voy a hacer daño. No quiero que me hagas daño. Oye, quieres a tu mami. Trataremos de hacer lo posible, ¿ok? Bro, the spirit bang on I'm bringing it back, man. Yo. Huh? Hold on, hold, hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Uh, a, a, a guest... A, a guest star is at the door right now. And um, I think he's, I think he wants to come in and ask a couple of questions either to me or to you guys. So, uh, yeah, feel free to open the door and come on in and approach, approach us. You got a real serious stream going on right now. Oh my God, no way. Did you see? Oh my God, bro. No, I'm ending the stream right now, bro. I'm ending the fucking stream right now. It really just happened. The fucking, my camera and everything just fell over by itself. Y'all think these ghosts are real, or not real, bro. Y'all think it's a joke, bro. My camera just fell by itself, so. bro. The whole thing just knocked itself over. I am, bro, loose? I'm done. Oh, you saw like a ship. Bro, I'm done. I watched it fall. Oh, my you fucking God, bro. I'm, yes, it's on okay. stream, bro. I'm about to play that shit back. So oh, fun. my God, bro. We're talking about ghosts and shit, and then it just fucking falls by itself like that? You ain't even opened the door I yet. Heard it, I heard it, yeah. Yeah, bro, you came in after I started screaming. That's crazy. It's, oh, my God. Y'all think this shit is a joke, bro. I told this you, happened. I told you don't play. Bro, I told you don't play with the Ouija board. I told you not to play with it. You you, you can do that <laughs> you can do that if you want, bro, but I'm being so serious right now. No, I'm, I'm serious. I'm being fucking serious, bro. Ever since the, the recent scares. Bro, a lot of... Uh, bro, I told you some shit been happening recently. I ain't even talked to them really about that. I brought up the other older stuff when I talked to them. I know, I know, but... I know, I know. But bro, that... Did you, bro, I'm about to play this. Bro, I want to... Bro. You have the extension cord that I let you borrow? What extension cord? Remember the thing? I was like, yo, you need this? I don't even know where it's at. I ain't never use it, though. Damn. Okay, yeah, play it back. I want to see. I want to see how quick the shift was. Cause you know what I mean. It should be like yeah. A can we rewind the stream? Hold it on, let's like go. A normal drop. Let's go see. We're gonna find out right now. Can you can't rewind on here? Can you? Not but there is a, there is a archive. Hold up, it's a clip mode. Can we rewind the stream, guys? We need. Is there a way to rewind the stream? Somebody donated fifty bucks to me earlier, bro. Okay. Clip it. I clicked on clip it. All right, so let's see what clip it does. Yep. We got the clip it right there. Hold on, we can take it back further. I'm taking it back by a whole minute and some change. Oh, nah, nah, nah. See, clipping it, was, it happened over a minute ago. Shit. 
But it's going to be archived after this, so I will be able to actually still see it. No sketch. Bro, I'm putting that up on my channel, bro. You should lock this, Tyler. Oh, my God, bro. Luckily, they found um, the hard hardwood. I mean, well, it almost did. I saw yeah. it tilt. I was looking at my camera, talking, and, just, to the, and it just slowly fell to me, bro. I'm not playing with this shit, bro. Y'all think this shit is a? Y'all think this is a joke? I'm gonna. I will have this uploaded to my channel later on. That's that's word on everything. Oh, that means it. You got. You got. I'm gonna have this uploaded to my channel later on. Like I said, no joke. I can't, bro, I just sat here, y'all watch me, I just sat here for hours and streamed to you, and my, my camera never fell over. It never once did it fall over. I can't even believe this just happened on live stream. This is going, this is, this is literally going straight to my channel, man. Straight to YouTube. <laughs> I can't believe that. I'm going back. I'm going back to. I'm going back to the stream, though, man. I can't believe that shit, bro. We're going back to the stream. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna finish this video up. I'm jumping off here. I'm. I'm jumping right off here as soon as we get back to this. Let's see. Um, uh, where is it? Ghost caught right there. Bro, that's crazy. Voy a abrir la puerta. Like I was saying, this man shut the door and it started banging on the door. I said, tengo miedo. La verdad. I got so scared. Los inciensos me dijeron que pudiera invocar. Voy a abrir la puerta. No te voy a hacer daño. No quiero que me hagas daño. Oye, quieres a tu mami. Trataremos de hacer lo posible, ¿ok? After the ghost banging on the door, look what it did to the thing on the ground. Pay attention. Pay attention to the top right corner. Dios santo. Dios, Dios. Did you see that? Tell me you saw that, dude. I need y'all to look right there. He didn't even notice. He was looking down. He was looking down. Si tú eres la... What is that right there, bro? In the top right corner. I know damn well that was not there earlier. I know damn well that was not there earlier, bro. When I first saw this video, I almost shit myself, bro. You think it's a joke, bro? This man tell you, it's Tupac. I can't wait till you play with that. Yo, my vape, I dropped it on the ground. I can't wait till you play with that Ouija board and you learn your lesson. You gonna learn your lesson. That's a demon. Look. Yes, yes, yes. There's a strange black shadow sitting in the far yes, corner of the bed. Yes, it's a demon, bro. Shadow Link. Nah, that's a demon, dog. That is crazy. Right there, sit, bro. I feel like because we watched this video, it knocked my camera over, bruh. I know y'all saw the camera just fell to me. There is no motherfucking way. Nobody can convince me otherwise that there is no such thing as ghosts, bro. You cannot convince me otherwise, bro. It just happened on live stream after I told you all my ghost stories. I just told you all my ghost stories. And then, then you watch my fucking camera and my light setup all just get pushed over onto me. That was crazy. Bro, I can't wait to take... I can't... Listen, I want to end the stream only because I want to go back and look at this archive. I know it's on, on my going to be on my Twitch archives. I'm going to take this fucking video and upload and edit it and look. I want to see if there's anything around me, anything near me. I'm kind of scared, to be honest, bro. There might be something. I want to see if there's anything that is visible on camera orbs or anything and i'm going to literally put that shit on my youtube y'all just watched it happen live like I, I i don't even know what else to say bro like i'm at i'm, I'm just kind of at a loss of words out at this point man i'm kind of at a loss of words like we're watching scary shit i'm telling you all my scary stories and stuff and things that has happened to me in my life my ghost stories and shit and then 
And then I'm telling you, don't fuck with the Ouija board because you know what happened. And then a perfect prime example. I get haunted live on stream right here in front of your eyes to prove to you not to fuck with the Ouija board. I'm t Listen, my true advice to you, Waffle, do not fuck with the Ouija board. My mic is right here. That's why I was looking over here if you were wondering. In my, uh, in, my, in, my, in my computer screen. Do not fuck with the Ouija board. That's my advice to you. You can do it if you want. It's on you. I'm not going to stop you or fucking beg you or no shit. But I'm telling you, that's my advice. I didn't tell you to do that. If you get haunted by a demon or some shit, bro, I didn't tell you to do that. You listen to Kirby, right? You listen to people in the chat joking with you, telling you to do it. Oh, my God, it's Tupac. It's Shadow Tupac. Like, nah, bro. I ain't fucking with that shit, bro. I ain't fucking with that shit, bro. You do what you want, man. Yeah, you, Gorsh, and Kirby, y'all three of y'all go ahead and do that shit. Y'all gonna burn in hell if that's what you want to do, man. Y'all know I ain't even a religious type dude. You know, I don't, I'll be doing all that praying, going to church shit. I'm a spiritual guy, but I damn sure do believe in the afterlife. I damn sure do believe in, you know, ghosts. I damn sure do believe that we all got chi, we got chakras, we got seven different chakras, main chakras and shit. And I do believe that when we die, we take the energy that is within us and our lower dantian over to the next life. And we carry on whatever energy we got with us. So, it is what it is. I'm not giving nobody no motherfucking apps. Yo, Sanders TV just cut on. Everybody that just watched this video just got fucking cursed, bro. Everybody just got cursed that's watching this video. That's how I feel, bro. People in the chat are saying, bro, that shit is crazy, bro. You think it's a joke with the whole chakra thing, Kirby? You think I'm kidding? You know, you got you have fun trolling online and shit. But when you come to find out that you've been poisoning your chakras and stuff like that all along, for real, you will start to understand. And this is that's part of the reason why you don't see me sit around and really literally have these serious discussions about chakra and chi with you guys. Because I know there's going to be people that's going to come along and it's going to want to troll and have fun. Because, of course, you want to have fun. Nobody wants to be serious all the time. But this shit right here, nigga. Y'all white people can have that. Us black folk, we ain't playing with that shit, man. We running when we see signs of ghosts. We ending streams. We stop watching shit when we see signs of shit like this. We done. It's over with. But y'all people, y'all go ahead, bro. You do it. Where the fuck you want? I know how the movies are. The movies taught us black people well. The black guy always dies first. Not in this story, my guy. Not in this story, my guy. In this story, the black guy ran and got his ass out of there first. And I'm, I'm, I'm not I am not fucking with this shit, man. No joke. But nah, I was just fucking around. Not being racist or nothing like that. Because I know there's no real way that a black person acts or a white person acts or in a certain scenario. It was just a joke. But <clears throat> at the end of the day, you get the point that I'm saying... There are some people out there that choose to be ignorant in certain situations. And there are some people that choose, I'm getting the fuck from around that shit. And that's just exactly what I'm going to do. But I look, man, I'm going to see y'all niggas later. Real talk. I ain't playing with this shit. I ain't messing around with this shit. This shit ain't no joke to me. I love y'all. I hope all of y'all stay in good health, good spirits. Go subscribe to Nukes Top 5. It's one of the greatest horror channels or scary ghost channels on YouTube that there is. I'm subscribed. I'm going to be watching that shit to the day that I die, probably just looking at all the shit that's happening in other people's lives and ain't happening in mine. Hopefully not. And if it is, you're going to see the videos on my channel. So, yeah, <laughs> you got you get the point. But I love y'all, man. Take care of yourselves. Y'all be, be easy. And I'm going to end this stream on a good on a good note. Um, if anything further happens, I will have it filmed and I will upload to the channel and show you, you know, or at least try my best to or whatever. But hey, man, I'm out. I'm ending on a good note. I'm gonna play some good music for you guys. And I hope you guys, you know, have a, have a good, have a good rest of the night. Don't be saying good night to me. I ain't going to sleep. Reduction. I said good rest of the night, my boy. Good rest of the night. 
Meaning from 5 p.m. Which is what You know what Y'all think I'm scared Don't you Nigga I'm scared I want you to know <laughs> I'm gonna cur I'm gonna turn this light All the way up It's dim like fuck right now It's on the lowest setting I'm gonna cut it All the way to the brightest Fucking setting And I'm gonna go And I'm gonna look at that footage That we just got Off of the stream And I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna upload it straight to YouTube right away, bro. No bullshit, no playing around. I'm not playing with this shit. Melissa Howard just messaged me on Snapchat. Wonder what she had to say. Y'all telling me good night and shit, man. Y'all making me feel bad. I feel like I wanna stick around, bro. I'm kinda scared to end the stream, but I, got, I need to end it in order to get that footage. You know what I'm saying? I got to, to get that footage. I might be back later on. If I am gonna be back, I will... Um, I will let you guys know via Discord, Twitter, or a YouTube uh, community post. One of those things. But, um, you know, until then, I really got to get out of here, man. I really do love you guys, and I hope you all take care. And I want to say thank you to everybody that came through and donated. And uh, to the guy that called me a pussy boy in the donation, hey, look, bro, you saw what happened on stream. Tell me if that's something that I should not have been worried about. You know what I'm saying? And look, let me know uh, if you're seeing this video on YouTube. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think about what happened on stream? You fucking saw that shit happen. What do you think about those videos we watched? What do you think about my ghost stories? You see, it's that much more real now once you see that shit live, bro. You can't, you can't deny that. So, end of the day, hope you guys have a good one. I hope none of y'all have to deal with the shit that I told you I had to deal with. Because it is kind of traumatizing. But, hey can't do anything about it you just stay positive and just hope that you don't fucking get possessed by a goddamn spirit or some shit you know what i mean but i mean i'm out i'm out that's it i'm out i'm out do this peace By the way, all the music you're hearing right now is made by yours truly, Kai Ninja, on the motherfucking beat, boy. I practiced for mad years so I could make music this well. Hope you guys enjoy it again. Deuce.